I understand the anxiety that, you know, a big chunk of the Conservative Party are essentially libertarian. They don't think the state should be intervening in the lives of people more than is absolutely necessary. And so the last year has been really tough. And just as we come out of the worst parts of lockdown, the last thing they want to see is the suggestion that you can't go to the theatre or the cinema or a restaurant or a pub without showing some sort of proof of identity and proof of a certain medical treatment, if you think of having the vaccine as that. So it is an understandable concern for them. Um, uh, the other side of the argument, of course, is some would say it's unavoidable. And if we are to start getting at least most of the country out of lockdown sooner, then for the confidence of others to enable the economy to get going again, um, that kind of thing will boost confidence. And, and therefore, it's, it's unavoidable, indeed desirable. The government has, as you, as you infer there, sidestepped um, objections to some restrictions that have put, been put in place um, over the pandemic. Why are vaccine passports, do you think, garnering so much attention and so much opposition? I think in the end, it's the inevitability. It's the, the case for them uh, on a practical level is so overwhelming. You can imagine airlines thinking, do we not allow anyone to travel? Um, until everyone is vaccinated, or do we start saying you can start traveling with us now if you can prove that you are safe um, from having the vaccine? And you can see the case for that in pubs, in restaurants, in cinemas. So I think the fear in the government is if they don't control and own this, it will happen anyway by default, and they will be seen to be irrelevant. So the reality on the ground, whether people like it or not, agree with it or not, is there will be some form of of distinction drawn, even if you think that's discrimination between people who can prove that they've had the vaccine and are therefore not a threat to themselves or others, and people who can't. Well, there's a review going on, isn't there, looking at um, how it might help open up the economy. And um, Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister, has also said vaccine passports are likely to form a part of the future of international travel. You've mentioned the Conservative Party, but, but what about the general public? Do people really want more rules? I don't think they do, but if you've had the vaccine, um, I think, you know, most people will want to get on with life and not have to wait until literally everybody has been vaccinated before we can all step out together. So some would call that discriminatory behavior and all that. It's particularly harsh on the young because they're the bottom of the queue and yet they're not uh, for vaccines and yet they're not really, you know, that susceptible, most of them, to this. Um, but if you want to get the economy going again and actually being able to prove that you are safe walking to a restaurant or a pub or a, an office or a plane um, is, is going to speed that up, at least for a growing part of the population, more than 30 million now, then the argument for is, is pretty compelling.